My name is Farran Alterriba, I'm an interaction designer and researcher, and I'm also a doctorate in, in computational media from the University of California, Santa Cruz. And for the most part, I do research at the intersection of design, creative technologies, and human experience. I'm also the director of the Playful Living Lab, which is an interaction design research laboratory that we have here at ERAM. Um, and at the lab, we mainly investigate how future technology could contribute to making people's lives more interesting, more fun, more stimulating, more social. And so the lab accommodates a bunch of people who are really interested in design, in research, in the future of technology, including myself, but also other faculty and students. Becoming a member of our lab can help any student with a prospective idea of becoming a researcher or a professional in the field of technology innovation to sort of amp up their career, right? To learn how can you conduct top quality research in the space of interaction design, in the space of technology innovation, and begin to carve a career, a career path in, in this space. Our program targets any student around the areas of design, psychology, computer engineering who's interested in, in exploring and learning how to explore um, the future of technology when it comes to delivering human experiences. Um, we're, we're open to accommodating students who have a passion for technology but at the same time for creative practice and who want to dedicate their professional lives towards investigating how to make the future of technology more stimulating and more fun. We're looking forward to welcoming a bunch of new students, new professionals with a lot of interests and capacities. And in particular, we're looking for specific skills in our prospective students. One of them is having fluency in English. We need to be able to communicate. So it's important that you're able to both speak, write and read fluently in English. We're also looking for students who have strong creative capacities, but at the same time, some previous background knowledge on design research, interaction design, human computer interaction, or any related areas. And after that, obviously, having some technical competencies is a must as well. Um, being able to prototype technologies will help you a lot to do your research. So, so we also appreciate students having that bit of, of knowledge. What's fantastic about our school and therefore about the program we're offering is that it's a multidisciplinary school where we bring together creative practice, technical expertise and, and the more theoretical aspect of, of, of doing research in interaction design. And therefore this conjunction of those three items make us set apart from, from other programs you may enroll in. In this foundational course, we will prepare you towards being able to initiate your doctoral studies, right? And we will do that in three ways. The first thing you'll work on is on sharpening your English skills. Communicating is really important and it will make sure that you get to a point where you can perform high quality research um, in, in English. The second point is we'll teach you any basic competences that we feel you may need to do your doctoral studies. You'll enroll in courses dedicated to specific things you need to learn. And the third of them, we will mentor you towards developing a research idea that you can present as your doctoral project. The focus of our laboratory is to investigate the future of technology in ways that are playful, fun, stimulating, socially relevant, and therefore, the research that you'll do as part of our lab connects to that. We're interested in making everyday life more playful through technology, and therefore we will invite you to find an area of everyday life that you're really interested in. And it could be, you know, food practices, it could be urban spaces, it could be interactions within the nature, it could be many, many, many things that are relevant to everyday life. And we will invite you to investigate, well, how could technology support those activities, those everyday situations in ways that are more playful. Getting a PhD in human computer interaction or design research or technology innovation can open multiple um, professional paths. One of them obviously is becoming an academic, a professor or a researcher at a university, but it can also lead to sort of more industry focused jobs such as UX researcher, UX or UI designer or innovation specialist. So it can have an impact both on the academic front but also on the industry front. 
Doing research at international standards and interacting with the broader uh, international community in, in technology innovation requires obviously strong English skills. Um, to enter the lab and to, to undertake this foundational course, we require basic English skills. Um, and we will make sure that through the foundational course you get to a super advanced English level that allows you to become an internationally known researcher. If you enroll in this foundational course and in the subsequent doctoral program, you'll join our team and therefore we will expect you to be in person in the lab um, to work both on your educational program but also on your design projects right there next to us. So you become an integral part of our team.